Hi, my name is Quincy. Welcome to Lake Crusade, to the Lake Crusade booth here in Chicago at the Houseware Show. Lake Crusade has been around since 1925 and they are now celebrating 85 years of creating some of the most durable, reliable, high quality products ever. Um, I just want to feature a couple of the products that I'm using here at the Houseware Show today. So the Houseware Show in Chicago, um, I am now going to tell you about the Lake Crusade 8 inch uh, anodized. Um, non-stick pan. Uh, one of the things I love about this pan is the fact that it has an ergonomic handle. So easy to handle, it's heat resistant, so it doesn't transfer a lot of heat to the handle. So feels really good in your hands. So right now I've got a little butter that's been melted in this. Great thing about this pan. Favorite thing about this pan is that I'm going to use this now to make omelets. And then later on this afternoon, I'm gonna use this exact same pan to make crepe sand. But if you were to use the other size of the Le Creuset nonstick or this one as well, this is great as a saute pan. Uh, you can just use it practically for everything. So it, it's universal. So that's one of my favorite things about the, this, uh, the uh, anodized pan here. So what I'm gonna do is add some eggs to this. Get a little butter that's been heated on this. Add a little bit of egg here. And just stay with me for a minute and then what you're gonna see is you're gonna see this incredible thing happen with this pan here. It's gonna create a really nice golden brown color that I'm waiting for with these with these eggs. I'm also going to use the Le Creuset their new spatula here, the new silicone spatula. And what that's gonna do is gonna help me remove this omelet or keep it, keep it moving. So what I'm doing is lifting up the eggs. And as you can see how well this nonstick pan or this sanitized pan is working, just gonna lift up the eggs here, releases the eggs very easily, and just keep lifting it and letting the eggs just go underneath. It's creating some really nice color now. The eggs are starting to get a little color around the edges now. Starting to crisp, uh, trying to, uh, starting to harden up a little bit. Now, just gonna add some Gruyere cheese to this. Just all around the omelet here. All around these eggs, tiny bit of Gruyere cheese. A little bit of fresh cracked pepper, tiny bit of sea salt, and some fresh spinach. Then I'm just going to put right on the edge here. Now see how the Gnostic pan has developed this nice color that I want here? So now I'm just going to take the 8 inch nonstick anodized pan and just flip it onto this plate. This is how easily it releases, guys. And that's a beautiful omelet there. <laughs> Thank you very much. The other thing that I have here is the Le Creuset de Four Pot. So with this, um, I have some veal in here. So some veal that I seared. Great thing about using Le Creuset is that it has this amazing coating. Not only is it cast iron, very durable, something that will last an entire lifetime. Uh, it has this uh, lifetime guarantee, um, something that you'll hand down to your kids. They'll hand down to their kids. It, hands, it goes through generations. And it's amazing how many times I hear people approach me here and say, my mother had one of those, or my grandmother had a Le Creuset pot, and it's been in the family for a long time. With the Defoe, uh, what happens is that I seared some veal here, so I developed some really nice color. With that ceramic coating that's on the bottom, it's going to help me develop this really incredible fond that's on the bottom. Uh, fond is the tasty brown bits that develop on the bottom of the pan. So having that ceramic coating, developed a really nice fond, was able to scrape that up with some white wine, put the veal back in there, added some, uh, some fresh thyme and some chicken stock, 
put the lid back on here and it's a tight fitting lid and what this is going to do is braise that veil so it's going to make it really nice and tender it has this recessed lid that's right here so you can either add ice to this or you can add water to this i'm adding some cold water to this and if you can notice there's some tiny little bubbles that have uh, created around here so it add it is going to have this steaming effect this misting effect that's going to incorporate into my meat here so i don't have to use a lot of braising liquid so normally i would have to add like two cups of chicken stock to this um, because of the steaming and the tiny little water droplets that are going to form and what helps that is the dimpling on the bottom of this pan here. I have one here that I want to show you. The dimpling that's on the bottom of the lid here. That's going to help with the condensation. So now what's going to happen is that this is going to braise for a couple hours and I'm going to have a really nice tender um, veal cassoulet. Other thing I'm doing is I am using the Le Creuset Stainless Triple Ply. Very sturdy pot. Again, this has been in the oven for a little while, but if this was just on the stove top, it has that ergonomic handle. Um, it also doesn't transfer heat if you're doing it on the stove top. It has this incredible lid that can rest right on the lip there. So your lid can uh, rest right on the handle there. Great thing about it, it also has a nice little uh, uh, pour spout here. Not a pour spout, but a, um, a pouring ramp. So this was the short ribs that were in here. Uh, so it, a couple of pounds of short ribs that I seared, got some really nice brown, uh, golden brown color on this. Great thing about the triple ply is that it uh, creates that really nice fond again. So with the defer, um, the ceramic coating helped develop that fond that I went on the bottom of that. With this one, it's the stainless steel that helps create that golden brown fond that I need to develop those tasty brown bits. Um, so this is just, uh, to glaze the pan again with some white wine, some um, crushed tomatoes, got some fresh vegetables in here. Gonna throw that in the oven here. So this can go right from, uh, right from refrigerator to oven or stove top. The uh, same with any of the Le Crusade products. For the most part, all of them can go right from refrigerator to stove top or to oven. So that's a little bit about Le Creuset here at the Houseware Show. Uh, thank you for coming and hope to see you in our showrooms or at any of our stores that we have. Thank you very much.